grass is getting long. Well, the field grass is getting long. Probably time to get the brush hog out, clean up a little bit. Let's take the golf cart back in to see what we got. I'd say it's getting pretty tall. All right, so I got my brush hog hooked up. Uh, what I got is the Woods RC RC thing. RC five. It's a uh, sixty inch brush hog. I'm running it behind my Kubota L twenty five oh one. It's twenty five horse three cylinder diesel. I think it's got 20, 25 horse at the PTO twenty two. I think or something like that. I've uh, been running this brush hog for about three years and uh, it handles everything I throw at it. We clear out things, I cut down two inch trees, all that tall grass and everything. So, um, hooked up the mower, did a couple of pre-checks, the fluid was good, uh, greased up the uh, grease fittings for the, uh, the trailing wheel and the tire and greased up the U-joints uh, inside the PTO shaft. Uh, ran the brush hog for a little bit, made a couple of passes, started vibrating, started shaking really, really bad. Uh, no matter what I could, what, no matter what I did, I couldn't get it to stop. So I decided to bring it in and lift it up in the air, uh, take a look underneath, take a look at the, the blades, and I found a couple of issues. All right, so the vibration's been happening for a while. Um, first thought was that maybe the blades were out of balance, which I'm sure they are, because after using this for a couple of years, mowing down trees and hitting rocks and all kinds of stuff, we got quite a bit of damage to the blade. Uh, it's not terrible. It still works pretty good. Um, but I think I'd like to kind of sand this down, make that flat and even again, get rid of some of the um, big nicks. And then over here, as this sits underneath, it pivots right there on a bolt. I got the bolt. Okay, it's going to sit. The bolt's going to hold it like this, and then there's another piece of metal on top of here, and these are kind of hard to move, um, and they're very rusty as you can see. So what I'm going to do is take this apart, clean up all the rust, maybe add a little bit of, uh, probably going to use a silicone uh, based brake grease that's high temp, sticks really well, and so when the the mower is on, these blades are flinging around, it won't shoot all the grease off of there, maybe it'll last and this might be something to do every season. Uh, I'm going to show you how I got these blades off and then we're going to go ahead and take care of it and go out and see how this thing mows. Alright, so what's going on underneath here? Um, the blade carrier assembly, I suppose you could call it, and that bolt's going to go up in here that I was showing you earlier and it's got a keyway and it locks in right there so that way when you come through this hole up here to undo the nut, the bolt holds steady. Um, it's kind of was stuck in there a little bit. I used a pry bar and I wiggle it out. And I think when I do this one, I'm just going to use a punch right in the center, um, like a flat cold punch, and uh, knock the pin out, or roll pin punch. So what goes on with these brush hogs, um, obviously you got these big heavy blades right here. And when they hit like a tree, like a one or two inch, maybe three inch tree. I've hit them that big before. Um, this pivot right here lets that blade knock loose like this. Okay, and then the centrifugal force should take that blade and spin it back out like that. Um, but that was really, that was stiff. Uh, full of grass, rust, um, and I kind of had an idea that this was what was going on with it, but I just always kind of revved it up and the extra force would fling them out. But as the time went on, it's been harder and harder to get that vibration to stop. 
um, is when this one is off, you can see a buildup of rust and debris, debris, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so I'm going to go and take and we're going to clean this up, remove that blade over there, clean them up, fix the edges, put it back together, and hopefully we're going to rock and roll. The nut's kind of a good size nut too. I don't really know what size it is to be honest with you. I've got a couple of sockets in my toolbox. Uh, I got an inch and three quarter and it just could be a little bit smaller. Okay so just be aware of that. Might need to stop at Harbor Freight or something and get a socket to get these off. Blade number two. Booger right there. See if we can't take care of that. Smell that. All right. So for most of this work, what I think I'm going to do is I see three areas that I need to take care of. Uh, these bolts, these pins, or whatever you want to call them. I'm going to take these over to the wire wheel and clean up all the crud on both of them, and then we're going to lubricate it. Uh, another area is right here. Like these pivot points, you can see like the buildup of grass and rust and all that stuff. We're going to clean this up uh, again with the wire wheel. And then I might come back with the uh, angle grinder and use like maybe one of these um, slightly abrasive pads, not super abrasive. And then over here we got the cutting edge. Uh, two schools of thought on the cutting edge of brush hogs. Some guys like to have the rounded edge because it's so big and bulky, bulky and the blade speed's pretty good um, and you're carrying all that mass that you want a rounded edge because when you cut the little trees it'll just make the trunks or the stumps of the trees kind of like that. They won't be too sharp because if you do have a super sharp edge on it um, that's going to slice them and leave a, a sharp edge that you might poke a tire or you know something like that. I'm just going to take these back down to their original sharpness or close um, and that should take care of it, but one worry I got is right here. That is a big old bend, okay? So rather than take these over to the grinder, which I'm going to do, I'm going to start off with my cutoff wheel. Um, very gently, kind of come over to the side and trim away at that metal, just to kind of give it one smooth surface, take all these bumps out. Uh, you should be very careful if you attempt this because these blades if they crack, and they're, they're, they're very uh, brittle, if it cracks, you could get hurt. So be very careful doing something like that. But let's get started.
All right, so that's that. So next thing I'm gonna do is uh, set the top link back to where it's supposed to be so it gets that float over the field. And then uh, I'm gonna take it out to the pad here. We're gonna start it up, see if there's any vibrations. I wanna do it out here on my concrete pad first before I go back out in that field and do it and have something come loose. It's very simple, it's only two bolts, I get that, and they're pretty tight. But I uh, figured I'd just try it out here, make sure everything's working right in the first place. Just did all of that in fourth gear low. PTO speed 540 RPM, so the tractor's at like 2200. Um, had a couple of sticks out there. A couple of them I got were about that big around, about a three-incher. 
Uh, completely happy with the way it's working. I think I took care of the problem. Zero vibration. It's working great. As fun as that was, I want to throw some sticks at it. That was just grass. That was the easy stuff. I got something out front I can run over and we can really test it. all the carnage, all the destruction. Got a little more work to do yet, but I think this is about all you guys want to see. Yep, cut right through that, that lengthwise. Not bad. I would say the most part it worked pretty good. Get a couple of the bigger branches in there, started shaking a little bit, but it smoothed right out. Whereas before it hit something like that, it would never stop. It just keeps shaking over and over again. So, uh, really happy. I think I got it. So, guys, until next time, thanks for watching. See you later.